What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Fitness Society Podcast. Today, we have Tyler here with Guardian Revival. He is doing a C2C race to raise money for veterans and first responders. So wa- welcome, Tyler here. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, Happy man. It's awesome to have you. So Tyler and I have been doing 75 Hard together and the team, well, the team that's making it, all of you. Um, we're on day 42, so we've lost a lot of soldiers here. Our our group chat went from highly active to a few voices, and that's about it. There's yeah. there's a few people like sticking in there. They are, and they're at least they're admitting that they're getting sad about the whole thing. Too. Yeah, and those are the people that I trust are doing it. Right. Because I've had like four. My last like week has been pretty tough. Then the other people that are just like chiming in here and there, I'm like, I don't believe you. What are you doing? Yeah, this seems way too easy for you. You're up to no good. Yeah, but all right, Tyler. So tell us about your race. How does it work? What got you into it? Um, yeah, just give us a brief rundown. Yeah, absolutely. So our team captain, Keith, he kind of, he's a buddy. I was in the Army with him for, I don't know, 12 years. and um, So you guys, like, actually serve together? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so you have, like... Yeah, so we, we've we been together for a while. At least Keith and I have. And John, uh, the third teammate, he's uh, up in Vermont. I met him a few years ago. And, yeah. And... Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I met him a few years ago, and he was a he was a Marine. So okay. we all have like a very similar background. So um, you've all went through the same similar yeah. training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know we kind of in that realm. You kind of know how everybody operates. Which yeah, is and that's really, cool that you actually serve together. I mean, that's a big that's a big help of like knowing someone. Yep. I mean, yep. I'm sure you don't really know someone until you you <laughs> yeah. know get in some shit with them. Yeah, absolutely. Especially like. Yeah, that much time we lived together essentially for the 12 year span that we were together. And, wow. And, so this is a cakewalk for you. Yeah, at least we know when the other person's about to get grumpy. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like how to get him out of that. And you're a little bad boy. Why are you so angry? But just give him a protein bar. Like, Shut Eat up. This. Eat, Eat this. the Snickers. Quit crying. <laughs> nice. So the race is C to C. Do you know where you're starting and where you're ending? Um, so we meet up at a hotel Wednesday night in uh, St. Augustine. And uh, in the morning, they'll give us all of our maps and everything. And they'll take us somewhere to the panhandle and drop us off. And wow, we have to navigate our way back to. So, does the race technically start while you're cross while they're driving you over? Because they give you the maps, right? Yeah, they give, and that's your time on the bus is your time, as far as I know, to um, <clears throat> plot your route. Oh, okay. Because right? you have those seventy-two points that you're looking for. Yeah. Um, so we get that time on the bus to kind of work out our game plan of how this is going to work and kind of figure out uh, how long each leg is going to be and start game planning. Okay, for- and you're going by bike, C. And foot, right? Yep. So there's going to be some kayak portions. There'll be some running slash rucking because you got all your equipment on you for the majority of the race. You'll stop at resupply points. How much is your bag? How like how much does it weigh? Probably about just 30 pounds or so. 30? Yeah. That's not too bad. No, it's not. It's wicked manageable. Yeah. Um, I mean, 72 hours, uh, 30 pounds of probably good. Yeah. yeah. I will be sad. Yeah. <laughs> it's manageable, but I will be sad. Um, so like what kind of training did you do leading up to this? Like what, you know, what really can you do? It was kind of a grab bag. I really focused on uh, time in the seat on a bicycle because I think that's going to be the biggest thing outside of like my normal routine. Yeah, your ass cheeks are going to just be raw. I mean, absolutely. We go to grapefruit trails and ride for like a couple hours. And I'm like, the next day, I'm like, ooh. Yeah, there's some 80 mile legs. There's probably a couple 80 mile legs on a bicycle on this route. So, so do they move your bike for you? So, like, say you run to your bike. And then you run to the next location. They'll have your bike already there and ready. Yeah, they stage things. Okay. So there's different area. They call them transition areas. So you might start off with a, you know, six or a ten mile run. Okay. And then you'll get to like the kayak or canoe portion. And you'll get in your boat and then you'll paddle for, you know, six or seven hours, eight hours, or however long that might be. Ooh. And then once you're done with that, you might transition to a bike. You might transition back to your foot, right? Because there's wow. a couple. I think there's like a thirty-five or a forty-mile like hike. Okay. So you're walking for 40 miles um, while navigating by map. So it's not like you can check out. You got to be tuned in the whole time and making sure that you're on point. You're headed the right direction. Man. And it's dark outside and you haven't slept in 20 hours. I know this is probably least of your priorities, but you should really like check in on your Instagram story or just make like 30 second video. We plan on it. Yeah. We like, really do just to be like, hey, this sucks. Hey, we're <laughs> this sucks and we're 20 hours in. This sucks and we're 40. Like yeah. do like a 10 hour checkup or something and then you could put them all together. And then we're like, hey, we're going to take a nap, I think, now. <laughs> yeah. Our, our plan is to uh, 
not sleep for the first 36 hours okay and try to move through that and then well hit. also on a kayak could or canoe couldn't one of you sleep while two of you paddle one of you sleep while two of you paddle potentially um i think that might work uh, one person should navigate while the other two are paddling so uh, it's kind of okay. like it's a it's a handoff okay um so you're doing this to raise money or in set with raising money for guardian revival yep um so how did you get with guardian revival uh so john had uh done some stuff with guardian revival in the past he's he knows alex the founder of guardian revival and then <clears throat> i think our kind of what we were looking to do through all these races and what they're doing we all kind of married up together like um <clears throat> they uh they focus on mental health of veterans and first responders and okay. so that's kind of something that plays into all three of our lives and pretty heavily yeah definitely um so like what do they like what do they do like what is their purpose so they have uh several different programs i think a lot of them are not a lot of them but some of their programs are based on like getting veterans outside and engaged in the okay. wilderness so they'll do um, some expeditions multi-day expeditions or like a 10-day paddle like in maine somewhere. okay they're based out of new york state so they do a lot of stuff up in that's awesome. Yeah. Get them out of their head. Get them out in the woods. Yeah, absolutely. Annoyed, <laughs> harassed. Yeah, right. Mosquitoes. <laughs> Wet, yeah. cold. Sad. Can't think about anything else. Yeah. Right. It takes your mind off everything. Yeah, it's definitely. Being out there and kind of like uh, having a hardship, um, especially with another group of people or people that you have spent, have some familiarity with yeah. their background, um, means a lot. And then they have another. And it's like a reconnecting with like, I would assume, you know, your fellow soldiers and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And it strips away the BS, right? Yeah. So when you're out there and you're kind of struggling or you're on a long hike or you're on a long paddle or a mini adventure, so to speak, you tend to not carry so much of your day-to-day with you. Yeah. And kind of get Definitely. back to the basics. So how can the people help raise some money for Garden Revival and you guys doing these events? So we have a donation page. Okay. And then you can donate through there. We'll link that below. We'll link it on the page so you guys can click right here. Yep. And if you want to see more what programs they have to offer, they've got, you know, an Instagram, Facebook, yeah. on LinkedIn, they're everywhere. Yeah. If you guys know any veterans or first responders like we all do, make sure you, you know, show them the page. Spread the word. I think this is a good cause, good mission. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. So we're going to do a recap with Tyler here in a few weeks when he makes it back from this 72-hour race. And we'll see how he held up, how he made it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Of course. We foolheartedly decided to take on a 72 hour race. It's called the C2C. It's put on by Warrior Adventure Racing. It's supposed to be around 340 miles. It's a multidiscipline race. They give you kind of an idea of where it's going to end and begin, but they don't, you don't really know until you get there exactly what the route is going to be. So it's, you know, multi-terrain, it's trails, it's sand, it's hardball, which, you know, roads. Uh, to me, it feels pretty wild. Guardian Revival took the chance on all three of us to say, hey, we want you guys to represent us. For me, it's a big deal. Like I never, never in a million years would I have thought that somebody wanted me to partner with them to kind of get the word out about what they're doing. So yeah, you're absolutely gonna remember that when you wanna slow back a little bit, or you wanna rest. Yeah, I'm gonna be thinking about that. And now's not the time to, to let off the gas and to you know push through.